All right, guys, in this video, we're going to build a workflow automation in Go High Level. So when people comment under one of your Instagram posts, you automatically send them a DM with a lead magnet or a guide. So we're going to set this up. It will look something like this when you're done with it. And before we start building it step by step, I just want to show you how this will look like in real life. So I'm on my Julian, my client Julian's account. I'm going to type here a keyword comment under one of his posts. And now after this, we're going to head to the DMS because he's supposed to send me an automatic message in a few seconds here. Yep. There you go. Click the button below to get my XYZ guide, click the button. And then after I click the button, after a few seconds, it's going to send me the link. Here you go. Lead magnet link. So this is the automation we're going to build inside go high level step by step. And let's just get into it. So you want to go into your go high level, the automation step, create a new workflow, start from scratch. So let's name this workflow comment trigger workflow. And the trigger is going to be an Instagram comment. Now, before we build it, make sure that your Instagram account is connected and integrated with go high level, because that's the only way this is going to work, obviously. So here you want to just search for um, comment and you want to go for this Instagram comment on a post beta. So we can name it like test trigger, let's say, and then here page is you just select your Instagram page, post type, publish post, post is, and here you want to make sure that the post you're going to use as a trigger is already published on Instagram because you want to select from this list your own post. So I'm going to go with this Azerbaijan dump number two. And also now we want to add our keyword. So I'm just going to click add filter. And here you can either go for a contains keyword or an exact match. I usually prefer contains. So if the comment contains the word sausage, then this automation will trigger, but make sure in go high level, you add capitals and no capitals because go high level makes a difference between those two. So I'm just going to add also sausage with a capital S and also sausage with all caps. So make sure you add all different variations that people might use on the trigger. So now we're going to save the trigger and we're going to move on to the next step. This is kind of uh, an optional step, but I like to add it, which is reply in comments. So basically what this will do is when people comment, you will automatically reply to their comment with something. And now that something is going to be these messages here, for example, send you a DM or check your inbox or um, messaged you. So go high level will randomly pick one of these texts and use it as a comment reply under the comment of the lead. And you can also turn on like comments here. So that's the step number two. Step number three is going to be again, an Instagram interactive messenger beta step. And I'm going to explain you how this works. So first of all, you can name this action as um, first button, let's say, because it kind of looks like, kind of looks like a button reply to comment via DM. And the message on the button is going to be, let's say, click the button below to get your lead magnet. Boom. And you want to go down and there's this button already selected here and you want to add a new button and on the button name, you can just write, um, get the oops link and then I also want to add here a link emoji yep that's perfect okay and um, for this wait step you can just add like whatever number it doesn't really matter much oh uh, yeah so for this um, perform action I'm just gonna perform an action and that's it so basically this is gonna lead us down to the next step and I will show you how why I do it this way. There's another way we can do it, but I do it this way. So now when people press this button, now what we want to happen is to, for us to send them a DM. So we can send them first a DM like, um, here you go. Let's say I'm just going to copy this here as well for the action name. And then maybe here add a wait step, like wait three seconds, wait three, seconds. If you want to do three seconds, you can just, because you cannot choose seconds here, just minutes, hours, days. So what you want to do is do 0 0.5, like 0 0.05. So this is going to be exactly three seconds. 
So there's gonna be a three second wait here. And now we're just gonna do another DM, another Instagram DM step. And this is gonna be the, let's say Calendly link. And I'm just gonna write my Calendly link here and boom, that's it. So now you can just uh, save this. Now you can publish this as well. Obviously make sure you publish it for this to actually work. And before we test it live, I just wanna show you something that's gonna really, really be useful for you. Let me just put this here to make it easier for you to kind of navigate this stuff. So basically the first um, trigger here, the first step is gonna be the comment keyword, which is basically what people are supposed to comment under your post for this to trigger. Then this respond on comment is gonna be what you will respond under their comment. You know, you can have multiple variations here. Then um, when you write the, the, the text on this step, this Instagram interactive messenger is gonna be how this text up here looks like. What you write on the button is gonna be this on the button. When they press this button, it's gonna make them send this DM and that will activate the next step. And after that, here's how the DMs are gonna look like. I didn't put a wait step here, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So this is kind of how everything is gonna look like, just so you know what will do what and how this is gonna look like. So now we're gonna take my phone from over there and test this uh, workflow. Okay, so I took my phone from over there and now what we're gonna do is try out this fantastic automation that I have built. So I'm gonna share my screen on the laptop and you will see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I'm on Instagram and it was this Azerbaijan dump number two and I'm just gonna comment here, sausage. And now I should immediately go to the messages and see if this, um, automation is gonna go through. We're gonna wait a few seconds and hopefully it's gonna work. Yep, click the button below to get the lead magnet. I'm gonna click the button. It will make me send this DM. I got it on my other account now. And now it should send me those two messages. Here you go. Wait three seconds here and then send me the Calendly link. So that's exactly how you set it up. And actually what we do when we use this stuff is we have an extra extra step here. So what happens here is we send the lead magnet and you know you can see that it's kind of cut off here. But what we do at this point is we actually wait here another 45 minutes. So what we do here is wait, wait 45 minutes. And after that, we have my AI appointment setter reaching out. So there's this plus and there's this next step gonna be the AI appointment setter reaching out, AI setter outreach. So basically what the AI setter would say here is like, Hey, I hope you could take a look at the guide. By the way, can I ask you some questions to see if I can help you? And when the lead starts responding at that point, so when the lead here responds, what we're going to do is the AI bot is going to talk to them. So the AI setter is going to have an entire conversation with them in the DMS and try to book them in for a call at the end call. So that's what we do. And yeah, so that's basically one more thing you can kind of add into this flow, but this is the beginner part. And I promised you one more thing, I believe, which is how to, let me just put this uh, somewhere else, which is how to integrate your Instagram. So you just want to go to settings on your, on your go high level, go to integrations right here. And as you can see, um, right here, my, Facebook and Instagram is already connected. Basically just want to log in with your Facebook account here and connect it. And also what you, what you want to make sure is if you want to see the DMS that people send you on Instagram, you want to make sure you go to settings and you allow the Instagram messenger right here and connect it. So when you go to this manage pages, but you want to make sure there's a little green checkbox here next to Instagram and you know, then you're all set. So that's how you use, uh, Instagram comment automations on go high level and hope this guys was a valuable video for you. If it wasn't, then don't subscribe. See you.